<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. Is this episode seven, six? Five. No, it's who not knows, five. Who knows, who knows? Like, there's no, we, we keep yeah. losing track of what. Yes, <laughs> another one to the collection. Yeah. Um, I was saying to you guys that I wanted to touch on today juggling life and this I suppose like I know we spoke about previously about I guess our late 20s and adulthood and whatever comes of it but I feel like juggling is so relevant to talk about because I feel like it's been so apparent in my life recently like navigating motherhood navigating work and businesses and whatever else and I feel like sometimes it is hard like do you know what I mean and I feel like especially when it comes to like apart from Narissa we all have children yeah. but even for you sorry even for you <laughs> like it's still hard but I feel like that's one of the things that I really kind of struggle with mm-hmm. do you know what I mean yeah. like I don't know if any of you guys got it but I really get like mum guilt bad what, I don't know why. what prompted you to think about juggling like yeah. I feel like there must have been something <laughs> well <laughs> the let's, let's do that what's the tea girl <laughs> what's the tea, what's the tea? <laughs> well I was, um, <laughs> I didn't think I could do it anymore, guys. I thought, do, do you what? Know, be on the podcast. <laughs> be on the podcast. Abby, Abby, do <laughs> that on. Abby said that she was done with us. No, just go guys, no. The reality is, is it's hard yeah. to juggle. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like, and I felt like, to be fair, let me give you a backstory actually, because then you'll maybe understand, because <laughs> it's not just, this is going to sound really weird if I don't say. Basically, Ooh. when I had my daughter, I was on maternity and I knew that I couldn't go back to the job. I was at, I wasn't happy. What were you doing? I was what a team was leader doing? in a recruitment company doing compliance. And don't get me wrong, like compliance wasn't the issue. I just didn't feel like the job was good for me. And I actually mm. didn't enjoy it. I didn't get much fulfillment from it. Um, and I felt like I've been doing lashes as, as a hobby for quite a lot for about five years yeah. and I thought do you know what like I need more flexibility the job wasn't offering that um, time with my daughter was so important but also obviously I wanted to take a venture to do just do lashes yeah. um, and obviously adventure into other beauty treatments and whatever whatever just yeah. have more flexibility to make good money and not be d- dictated to essentially mm. um, so I decided I'm gonna go full time and just take the sleep I actually started working in a shop which I'm still there now um, and um, building up my business. But I feel like that's obviously a bold move to do. Like it's, it's risky building a business anyway, mm. especially after having a child, especially whilst doing other things. Like in that time, um, I got a house, was doing a renovation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not in the house all now. When yeah. did I, in February we got the house. Mm. I'm still, so in between February till now, which is sep- end of September, essentially, mm. I've been in between my partner's parents, my parents, back and forth, living out of bags. Like life has been so unsettling. Mm. I was mobile, doing lashes. So essentially what I thought was gonna be flexibility wasn't flexibility. Yeah. I was working more more hours than I yeah. actually ever wanted to. So it probably made it harder than, it took the enjoyment out of things. And I felt like obviously doing that whilst doing a podcast, trying to, obviously with a business, obviously you guys know through other adventures that you've all done, like. It's not easy. No. It's very hard to get that motivation to, you know, like there's weeks when you book, uh, like you ain't got no bookings and you're just like, well, what am I supposed to do? Like, yeah, yeah. hi guys, come get lashes for free. Like, please, <laughs> calm, calm down. Like, do you know what I mean? And it's just like, no, I'm joking. But there's been times when I've thought, do you know what? I am over it. And obviously yeah. I guess it's down to perseverance and pushing through hard times. But ultimately as well, I do think it's just sometimes hard to have your fingers in a lot of pies, which, not, that's why so many people don't do it, innit? Like, yeah. Yeah. a lot of people always say to me, oh, like, how do you manage to do it all? And I'm like, <laughs> I, don't. <laughs> I don't manage. <laughs> yeah. I don't, like, I cry every night. Well, not every night, that's a bit dramatic. But like, you know, it is tough. Yeah. Um, and I definitely think it's down to, I guess, characters and whatever. But I just feel like in this point of our lives, especially even doing what we're doing, like, you all must feel the same way. Like, yeah, in terms yeah. of navigating, you all work jobs you all do your own things you all are... <laughs> i work job i am a job <laughs> <laughs> no but yeah i feel like this is really relatable because i think what you said is like i think the key point there though and again i'm speaking from an unexperienced place but an observant place and i feel like um obviously when you have a child that's a turning point in mm. uh in anyone's life but more so for mm. a woman it is a turning point mm. um and i think there's a journey i guess that you go on to 
finding okay how does your child fit in your child has to fit into your life mm-hmm. or actually your life has to now work revolve around, your around child, yeah right? so that's it's a whole journey that you go on and then adding in all of these you know anything that you're juggling it's like okay everything that you're kind of trying to pick up or whatever is mm. is is going to be harder in it because yeah. essentially there is like a I don't want to say obstacle, but, but I, your I main know, but focus, yeah, your you know, yeah. yeah. And it's you. that's always got to be in the back of your mind. So I think you can't, like, not say that you are, but I'm saying you can't even skim over that. Do you know what no. I mean? It's, it, it, that is a big And I thing. feel like one thing that I definitely struggled with or has really been a hard thing for me is mum guilt. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. I think it's quite natural. And obviously my daughter is still quite young. So maybe as she gets older, that will ease off a little bit. But like, I just feel like I always feel bad if I'm not with her, yeah. which, it, but it's also like, well, I'm building a life for her as well. Yeah, but I don't know what, are. like, there's something about mum guilt that just, yeah. no matter what you're doing, how great of a job you're doing, you'll yeah. always feel like, I could be doing more, or I could be, do you get what I mean? Like, some but then people, there's could also be, the possibility of a reverse. Imagine that you was with your child all, all the time, seven, yeah. and you didn't actually get a break, break from yeah. your child. It's, yeah. like, it's interesting you said that because I feel like there is a big element of mum guilt of everyone. Yeah. And I feel like, Sometimes people charge it in a sense of, yeah, we double up. Some of us go mad hard, like you got, you are right now, like all of us <laughs> are going. Um, and the other side of it is that you don't do nothing and you kind of regret not going mm. hard and using yeah, that time yeah. to yeah. show your child, show your, prove to yourself. Set an example. Set an example, mm. really. And I, and I remember me and Bex having this conversation earlier on and we were saying that mum guilt is something that I don't even think I can put in. My, like in my vicinity, I can't even think about can't it. Can't take it's it just on. Like, no, I, I don't have a choice. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I genuinely you have to make it happen. If things were different, and I had time to stack as much, like save a lot of money, I need mm. to stop. And save a lot of money, you know, stack of bread. If I had before, I had my daughter. I had time to, you know, save a lot of money and yeah. stuff. Maybe I wouldn't have to be doubling up as much as I am now, but. I have it's a, all for the greater good as it's well. It's all for a greater good. And I had to literally part that mum guilt and say to myself, you know what, my daughter's looking at me and she's saying to me like, mum, now you rest now. I'm going to do the, I'm going to get myself ready for school. And I'm looking, I'm thinking, that's that's a child that sees her mum and knows that her mum's mm. going hard. hard. As a and child that sees her mum and knows, listen, don't wake don't. my mum before I time. <laughs> my son knows better. When he comes in my room in the morning, his shirt is on, his tie is on. He's got your outfit iron for you. He's like, like come up. He's like, come up. Breakfast is made. Well, you know, <laughs> self-regulated himself no seriously don't test me when you yeah. come in this room yeah. because before you come start waking me you, you know yeah so. yeah and it's interesting because i don't think i might in my first um my first time of being pregnant yes my only time. time of being pregnant and having a child oh my gosh what am i even saying your pregnancy my pregnancy um i didn't have the um, benefit of actually going into work. I actually was just at home at the time. While she was pregnant? Figuring out, yeah, no. Not and at uni, uni. And at uni. I wasn't uh. at home, I was working agency jobs okay, just to get yeah, money. Because yeah. I remember my old past at the time was when I first went to get my pregnant, he was like, you know, right now you got to double up. Yeah. <laughs> that pastor, like, I'm sure he didn't say that. <laughs> and it's actually, it stuck me. Even though I don't really, you have it going. You know, I, yeah. I tell you, and it stuck me because it's just like, it's true. Like, yeah. that's one thing I can take from you is that I've got to double up. I've got to charge it. Mm. Don't matter done now, I've got to charge yeah. it. But I've got to double up. So all of that mum guilt, I don't think I even had a moment to think about it mm. because it's just like, you're going to feel mum guilt when you're trying to make... No, it's true, yeah. yeah. You better get up. You Because mm. your child is still patterned. Yeah. Your child, yeah. each step of the way... It's good. They know yeah. you come home to them. But some yeah. people are leaving their kid to go just to go rave every night. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, well, not saying that's like, crazy. Work, like, no, it's crazy. No, but you get no, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. And work. Or to, they just don't want to be around their child. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have that yeah. connection. Yeah. 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 They don't, they every opportunity, them. like yeah, yeah, like you can take them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's 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 different. But I think it's about finding that balance, which comes with that experience yeah. yeah i think as well it, it comes a little bit maybe with maturity maybe because of that's the true. age when we had children mum guilt wasn't a thing or maybe we just didn't even think we had the audacity to you feel mum guilt like you're absolutely right when i was pregnant like the same time as you we have the same like similar stories yeah. it's very much like i was in my first year of young uni mums. and i gave birth in summer holidays Parker. you want to so, complain <laughs> young mom <laughs> yeah i know who said you it? Who said <laughs> it? <laughs> how have you done enough how have you done enough <laughs> i feel so guilty about even you better get and you dare to <laughs> talk about guilt <laughs> yeah don't even make me and tell you about yourself <laughs> <not to grow. laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's true. I couldn't show it. And there's nothing mad because I feel like it's still the same now. It is I a bit the same, it, but it's it. different. It's no, but different. I don't feel like I can show emotions or show feelings about like being vulnerable as a mum or just the fact that. What do you I mean, don't think in front of your child or just in general. In general, I feel like I'm still being this strong black mum, like strong. I feel like you mom. have to do that, but I feel like what I've learned that. though, That's toxic. Don't it is that. toxic. Yeah. But yeah, what I've learned that. is mm. that by doing that, you encourage certain ideals Perfect. and certain expectations and this is something that i've really learned because mm. i feel yes. like in trying to be strong in trying to always manage in yeah. all, trying to always then juggle you do it you got all it. people do you is think yeah 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 because you look like you got it all together yeah. Yeah. whereas people when like, you're more vulnerable people think, when you're fine oh, oh, yes. 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 that's when they're actually yes then that's when a real mental breakdown comes in it's like right whoa should i cry now guys right now it's not fun and that's where i've checked you see before yeah I put my son in nursery at four months. It's okay, it's yeah, fine. I'm okay. Think, I'm yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then don't you think? Yeah. Don't you think, yeah. so don't you think okay. this comes back? And I'm not even. Maybe this might be. You guys might not agree with this, but I feel like it stems back to our parents because my mum mm. was very headstrong as mm. a parent. Like mm. that tough. I don't know. Like, do you know what I mean? Like Caribbean. Old school Caribbean yeah, yeah, parenting. It's, it's yeah. not very soft. Yeah, it's not very, yeah. oh, it's... mum guilt. Do you think my mum had mum guilt? She was no. working, she was in a bloody church as well. Yeah, like, there was yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. There was no, you don't there, have mum guilt. But she have... shouldn't have, like, I don't mm. think you should have to feel mum guilt. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I but think, like, like, you have to realise that there are, that it, it can be one or two things. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It could be a thing where we was having this conversation the other day, like, in the sense of, there was a time when women were flipping campaigning to be allowed to work. work. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. And they were the default. I don't know was, why y'all did that. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Take it back. <laughs> but Thanks then, a lot. The, the default was that they were at home yeah. with the kids and mm. the man had the freedom to go out there, work, like and <laughs> and, and and yeah, and do do, do whatever Bring he's doing the bacon. and carry yeah. carry the load. And the women actually were Housework. Oh, didn't yeah. it? Like mm. maybe not all of them, but I know I would have been like because mm. what is your purpose then beyond being a mother? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it's true. Do you know it's what true. I mean? Like, and that's you don't even thing. get opportunity to go and figure it out. Like you can't. Whether mm. it's being corporate, whether it is doing creative things, like yeah. you don't even have yeah. the freedom to. Like, do who that. are you? You've had this child now, and you're just. Yeah. And it's funny because sorry to cut you. Oh, go on. One of my clients was saying to me. We were speaking about motherhood and she said, don't you think it's weird that like, you don't even have a name once you become a mum? And I was like, what are yeah. you talking about? And she went, oh, I've got people saying to my phone as so-and-so's mum. Yeah, yeah, and she's yeah. like, so when I call her, I'm like, oh, hi, I don't know your name. Like, <laughs> yeah, I've got yeah. you down as say Basically, Narissa's mum or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? And it's like, that is your identity yeah. and you do have to form, reform that identity. Yeah. Like you do almost lose a part of yourself. I'm not trying to make this all about motherhood because it's not in it. Like, yeah. But I do think- That was a bigger part for you. <laughs> Where was I going with this? <laughs> no, but I was saying because you were saying about like what was you saying? Well, we no, we was just asking like you know why you wanted to leave the pod. Why did you want to leave? And obviously, mother <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Well, we just said it. <laughs> <laughs> me, yes, yes. yeah, you no, I've covered it. I've told I mean, you guys handed it, no. Handed in, I noticed. So, you know. <laughs> no, no, it was just it, everything was a lot, and yeah. obviously, like not to justify like. I feel like everything's a lot for everybody in it, but it's mm. everyone's different capacities. And at the yeah. time I was in over my head, Ooh. like what I thought was going to be three days a week earning 50, 50K a month was <laughs> actually <laughs> seven days working, traveling to people's house. I've actually been attacked by a dog. I want to make that clear. That was being mobile is honestly the pits of, comes from the pits of hell. <laughs> I've been driving up and down the, in this flipping car like a drug dealer, okay? I've been in my car more than I've ever I been in that be car. I superstar. Yeah, no, seriously. Sometimes I'll be in the car talking to myself like, why did you do this? <laughs> like, mm, mm, no, but, but you, yeah. like, but I think it's, it's a what journey. comes with, it's, it's, a it's a journey. And I will look back when I'm on my yacht. Like, yeah, literally, this like, the you best don't thing just I ever get did. to fast forward to yeah. No, the yeah. sweet life. Do you know what I mean? It is like, But I think obviously, again, like, it was the timing in which I took, I made the step to take on so much. But then I think, that, that's what I wanted to talk about really was just the whole juggling aspect and mm. balancing with, like you're wearing all these different hats like how do you feel like you're okay giving enough to your relationship giving enough yeah. to your child pouring into your business pouring into your creative outlet that you're trying to grow to a business and yeah. doing mm. this and doing that and doing it all seamlessly yeah. and making sure that everything gets the equal amount mm. do you get what I mean because it's then you something sometimes slacks and then you feel like do you know what I mean it's, yeah. it is hard I think it really is just a case of if it was as as you said like if it was easy everyone, everyone, would, everyone do it. would do it yeah. do you know what i mean there's a reason why a lot of people start ventures and they might i don't know if it's a podcast they put one episode out and 
they never do it again or it might be uh, they start a clothing line and you know they make one inventory order they might not sell all of it cool they don't they don't do you know what I mean they don't go again and I think it's very easy to be disheartened I'm not gonna lie do you know what I mean because it's like what it, and I guess that depends on your reasons for doing it. And I think you have to find that balance of enjoying. I'm doing it because I enjoy it. I like mm. to do it. Like, it brings me joy. But also, like, there is a hope that it's something that can become lucrative mm. because yeah. we don't have money to throw away. No, and, of course not. You know, we're not, it's, it's not free to sit <laughs> no, here and get, no. like, you know. <laughs> I know y'all be watching. <laughs> but you're not. trying to make some coin. <laughs> no, I'm, like, uh, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's... It's, it's interesting because I found like when I was younger I was thinking about this the other day when I was younger I was at, I was working part time and then I was going to drama school part time and all of the other little things that were in the midst of it and my time I, I felt like I had all the free time I did have all the I still had all the free time in the world mm. because it was like it, even if I might have a day where I'd leave work and I'd have to go to a class or whatever, it was never overwhelming to the point where I felt like, oh, okay, I, I can't, can't do, do this. Yeah. Mm. Then that changed. Then it was like, okay, I went to uni full time. I, I worked all the way through uni anyway. Um, I was almost working like full time and doing uni full time, yeah. which was mad. But still, I never felt like overwhelmed. Yeah. No, like, and I don't know if it's age. I don't know if it's because I was uh, younger and I had more energy. Maybe, well. maybe. I think character, but I, 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 I don't like know over because now I feel overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like over the years, and this is something that I can really relate to. And when I was breaking it down of like, why, why do I feel this way? Mm. Over the years, like, I feel like I've had since my son was born seven years ago. Yeah. That what you said that consistently like juggling, consistently mm. like yeah. working yourself to the ground and. The reason why now it feels so heavy is because you're drained. Yeah. You're burnt yeah, out. Yeah, like yeah, you're over, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. never a break. Like yeah. year in, year out in my life. You guys know my life. Like yeah, yeah. yeah I know yeah. yours. Year in, year out. So it's always, always gone, something yeah. like yeah. something Emotion. heavy, something deep. And it's just mm. like in the midst of all of that, I still have to get up. I still yeah. have to. If I'm going to work, I need to go to work. If I'm going to, you need to do my master. I have to do my masters. Mm. If I need to drop my son to school, I need to drop my son to school. You Come home. I have the washing yeah, to do, yeah, cleaning yeah, to do, yeah, cooking yeah. to do. Yeah. DJing if I need to DJ. Go to radio. Yeah. Come and do like so. Many. There's so many things, and it's like you don't. I don't feel like I have the choice to sometimes say take a break. So the reason why you are looking back and thinking that was easy is because at the time that was maybe new like you were just getting it but now you must be yeah, drained yeah. you yeah. must be tired I, girl I am like <laughs> I am. for real though like. what's the dream thing that we would all want in a second like two weeks on holiday by yeah. ourselves yeah. like yeah. a break a break, yeah. a break. Yeah. we're tired but yeah. it's funny yeah because you, you say that then it's like you've got the government that are vexed with people like taking mental health leave or mm -hmm. they're saying that you know there's, there's too much people that are signed off because they're burnt out, they're stressed or, and I think on the, based on like our last episode and the discussions that we were having, mm. this is, I guess it still kind of fits, fits in with that mm. theme because it's like clearly not, yeah, maybe some people are just trying to scab and get a little break off of work, but there's no way that all of these people are just lying in it. Like 100% no, are no, no. overworked. Think, the country's getting more and more expensive. Yeah. And it's putting pressure on people. Yeah, it makes you think. But like, I think as well, more, more, more people are aware weeks. of what mm. mental health is and the symptoms that you have, like what fits. Because I didn't know about mental health. Have to even be, why does it have to be mental health? Mm. Why or can I not break. just be sick of working and since the age of 16? Yeah, but I didn't yeah. know what. Yeah. 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 No, sort me annually. Yeah. I I want some. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, want yeah, to, yeah. yeah. The thing is, though, yeah. I've always felt like, oh, no, play things by the rules, you know, do this, do no, that. I'm sorry if I were up this England. Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't care about you. They don't. They, they don't. don't care about you. You know when I learned that? You know when no I learned coming. that? You know when I learned that? <laughs> because I'm a situation. I'm like, <laughs> Let me tell you something. You know when I learned that? I was in my job. I was told them that I was pregnant. They knew I was pregnant. And they said, so um, you might not get your bonus because you're going up on maternity. And I honestly could have turned the table upside down because <laughs> I, I thought, I'm, I'm not being <laughs> effing funny. I've dealt with people kicking off. I've held this company together. <laughs> you wouldn't tell me. <laughs> I carried on my back. <laughs> I carried <didn't laughs> on my back. No, I'm joking. But I was thinking, with my big belly, I was sitting there like that, flipping, you know that, um, <laughs> that <laughs> meme of that monkey. <laughs> that's just like, <laughs> I was sitting there like, do you know what? This is where I'm going to tell you guys that I'm, I'm <laughs> Done. Seven weeks yeah. early. I left my maternity. <laughs> my baby was born in March. I left the end of, I think, mid-Jan. Yeah, if yeah. they knew that 
I wasn't coming back. Was it, yeah. I thought you pushed me to. I'm out, but yeah. even that whole situation with maternity, like, I'm not gonna lie. Even, you can't be telling now. There's more rights. But I remember when I was having my son, and I didn't tell my work I was pregnant until two weeks before my was due date. But how they, did you hide that? Because well, I used to work this yeah. job. I used to work on Saturdays, and yeah. when I used you to go crazy. in into the estate agent, I used to open the I used to open the estate agent and right sit behind your sit, desk, sit behind my desk and all day, and never used to get up, wait till everybody used to leave, and then I would because they would be out on showings yeah. all day. I just yeah. used to be at the desk, yeah. so they never used to see me, and obviously, like from my top up. I just look normal. <laughs> when you told them, what they, did they say? They was like, what the hell? Like, how have you been pregnant? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was like, yeah. Anyway, here's my resignation. But bye-bye. Bye-bye. You, like, you had to, you had to and be sick. So, yeah, but yeah, they right. were so cool. And they yeah. was like, like, take as much time as you need. Of course, like, why mm. wouldn't you say? They were literally in disbelief. But yeah. I, 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 I went back. I, here's here's the the baby. Baby. <laughs> I went back six weeks later, literally. Yeah, but doubled yeah. up. Wow. She doubled up. I went back six weeks later. And they was literally like, are you sure? And I was like, no, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Sitting there, your desk like my nipples leaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Expressing the pub. <laughs> oh yeah. It's not even funny. It's, no, not, it's not funny, funny, but this is what we have to like, do. Like, <laughs> like, what can I do? No. Oh no. my gosh. That actually makes me feel a little bit sad that you couldn't tell them, but I get why you didn't tell yeah, them. Yeah, I yeah. waited until I was how did it long did I wait? I think like five months I waited. And then it was just like, but I, that was because you I, hide it. I had just started my job. Okay, oh yeah. I don't yeah. even, I think I just about made it past probation. Yeah. yeah. Really? I remember yeah. you just trying to get, I remember you oh, yeah, calculating yeah, yeah. and, and it's, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My head was doing numbers because I was thinking, I need what the? Yeah. But then to be fair, it worked, out, I, it worked out that I was leaving anyway. So realistically, yeah. it wasn't the end of the world. But I do think it's, it's upsetting that as women, you have to think about all you these do. things. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. just There's to secure to your own, you know, security, your own security, but. Yeah, no, it's really difficult. And I think even just j- juggling things in general in life anyway, dealing with your employer is one of the the most, like, mm, anxious please. things or employer. one of the things that gives you the most anxiety yeah. ever. Yeah. Whether it's, yeah. okay, maternity is one thing, but it, even if it's just, like, uh, stress, mental health things, or yeah, even if yeah. it's just, like, yeah. any little thing, dealing with your employer, it just causes so much. So juggling work, for me, has always been an issue and something that I've learned over the years to not prioritize because mm. i'm just like as you guys said like one they will person. do what they want i'm one person when you go they just replace you with yeah, like one the time. next one do you know what i, I mean? don't, like, I don't even want to chat people's business one, but gone. i've heard some crazy stories <laughs> yeah, yeah i've heard, no yeah. seriously it's no, not even yeah. funny like about people being seriously ill and their mm. work telling yeah. them don't come back to work <gasps> yeah That's like yeah, genuinely yeah. so i feel like you have to know with your employer mm. okay you might have a great team and stuff like that but they ain't got to do what's best for them at the yeah. end of the day. Mm-hmm. They, they, they do. And also, like, be aware of, like, the policies as well because yeah. they, that's what that's what will catch you. Like, if you're mm. not aware of your policy and they're just probably there, like, they they know what Wagwan, well, they know what, what yeah. they're mm-hmm. waiting, you know, they're waiting for their moment and then you go into a meeting and you're just... I want my bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, you ain't qualified. No, you're gone. Yeah. You ain't qualified. Yeah. Yeah. I actually like, got somebody new to fill the No, you're right. So, no, no, seriously. seriously. Like, yeah. And also, it's difficult, though, because it's like... You take, I remember I took like four weeks off because I was stressed. Like, mm. and actually it was a thing where it's like, I'm overwhelmed with life. Yeah. I'm overwhelmed with work. I'm not doing my best work because I'm coming into work and I can't leave. You Life doesn't just, you, they, you know, they always like, oh, just leave everything at the door. Leave. How do you leave it at the door? Girl, and you want, and you want to leave it at the door, door but you want to bring my work home. Like, do you, no, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, leave your life at the door, but bring your work home. And like, I, okay. I bring my work mm. home, please. Like, I'm, not <laughs> I'm at my school. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not homework. I'm out. Okay, what's up on now? I'll see you tomorrow. For real, but I took time off and then it's like I came back to work and you're stressed again like mm, instantly yeah because it's like okay now you've got to navigate you've got to do like the all the formalities the return to work etc <laughs> then it's like, Hi, like yeah like hey, i've been away but i'm back. back i know you thought i was gone i feel much better hey, <laughs> thank you for all understanding <laughs> the toilet's the crying. Like, no seriously and then it's like your work has just piled up anyway yeah, yeah. so it's like there's not even i guess it depends on where you're working like mm. as well because if you're lucky, you will have a company where it's like whilst you're away, everything Someone is still running. It. Yeah, oh my like, god, running. oh my god. I mean, that's the dream, but that's not. It the doesn't happen. You come back and it's like, why did I ever say this? Happen? I'm even more stressed yeah. now. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh and that's what stops so many people from taking time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I ever really take off my whole 
holiday leave yeah, yeah, yeah. work because it's I was saying like, that the other day I've got annual I've been so that up like, yeah. I actually don't take my annual leave yeah I don't take it so, I, just, no, yeah. I take it and I'm coming back to bear the same ground to be fair yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. No, no, and then no. everybody's no. moving mad with you everybody's like, you, like you've done like, a mad yeah. coming yeah. and yeah. taking like, your holiday your desk, yeah. it's just like this is my it's actual actually, annual yeah, leave which I'm entitled to I'm entitled to take it I'm coming back as soon as you step in the office or you open your laptop you're seeing all of these messages coming up meeting for the one second after you've just logged on ah, I've just <laughs> arrived like, give me a give break me a give me a break are you okay yeah. please to be fair sorry go on no you go no, do you know what I was gonna say I was gonna say like aside from like work and stuff I feel like I can juggle work I can juggle those things mm. but do you know what I find really hard to juggle what friendships like mm. yeah you've Ooh. said this before you're I, not the best guy, at like guys keeping I up with... struggle yeah. so much like, I don't know what it is really? and I don't know like I don't think I have like so many friends like I have a, a few fair friends few, in it. Yeah. I have like different friends in different you know Patches. yeah mm-hmm. different areas and it's like I think where I'm and I spoke about this already where I'm my communication is not I think I've got better actually like getting better yes yes you have don't say getting better you have, I you have got better. better I've got better <laughs> like I'm not I'm not the friend that's gonna call you every day I'm, gonna, I'm not that friend in it and I hope by now all my friends are aware of that but like where I'm not that person anyway I think it feels like such a a mission to make sure like okay have i checked in with everyone recently yeah. like mm. am i have mm. i seen everyone recently like am i oh are, do, do they feel a way about something or do, like i don't know really i just it just overwhelms me like mm. i feel like you shouldn't maybe this is you just your feel like it yeah i feel like don't put so much pressure like i used to be somebody who cared a lot about friendship and stuff like that but I've just got to a place in the past few years. You don't give a heck? I don't give a heck. I don't care about you. No, it's not that. I care about you all very much. But I just feel like I just don't have time. Mm. I've got to keep it a buck. There's bigger things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And And if you know, go on. All I was going to say is sometimes, like, behind closed doors, I'm actually moody and depressed. So it's like, I don't always have the strength to be hi you yeah, 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 yeah 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 and then yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. you talk to your friend like you they're going through a lot of stuff and i always have time for that in it but sometimes when you're in a dark place you don't want to hear like yeah it's, it more makes trauma worse. on top of your it's trauma true. it's just like I, I, i'm already i'm more yeah, i'm yeah, yeah i'm yeah. 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 <laughs> <It's true, true. laughs> no nah, i feel you so, I, I, I think i where i start where i start to feel bad is like you say, say someone calls you and they're like, "Oh, like you know, do you want to go out or do you want to do this?" And I'm like, "No, nah. I'm not in the place. yeah, <laughs> no, you're not no, in the mood. No, I'm not you in know, the place. I hear, I hear you. But you, you should be able that. to say that but to them. You know, though, they are friends. Yeah. I will. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But then it's like, okay, they might call then, and then it might be a few days later. Like, I don't, and then it starts yeah. to seem like they're you're like, avoiding like, you down. Issue. Yeah, but yeah, it's not yeah, that. Like, but it's like there's nothing to celebrate. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Or even like the social time. battery is just not there. Yeah. Like, mm. I love you. I want to spend time No, guys, with you. we're actually drained. Oh my God. Because I'm just thinking about years ago. Like, this would have happened. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'll be linking you guys after work. Yeah. yeah. I used to be yeah. Yeah. driving yeah. to... I used to be at yeah. like, whoever's got to two in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 On a Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, oh, I've got work tomorrow. Yeah. Get the drinks in. And now it's just like... No, but this is life though. As you get older... Listen, Responsibilities come in. Catch- like- when I used to work at Selfridges, yeah. Right, well, I worked at Selfridges when I was like, what, 19 maybe? Yeah, no, I was like 19, 20, 19, 20. I was thinking what area was um, That was the YSL era. It was a long, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, yeah, yes, yeah. YSL good era. Good time, good time. Black opium <laughs> era. <laughs> no, baby, it's the same Laurent era. <laughs> <laughs> when I was working at YSL, yeah, or Selfridges, um, I used to go, like, I'll go raving, yeah, and I'll go raving multiple times in a week. I'll go raving, I'll leave the rave, like, or get in at, like, six in the morning, and I'd start work at, like, 8.30. 8.30, I need to be on the shop floor. Yeah. Oh, my God. And I'd literally get in, shower, yeah. no drunk. sleep. Still drunk, yeah. S- still fuss up, still. yeah. Put on my work clothes. Motion. And I'm in, I'm on that shop floor, all the bright lights are there. <laughs> and, I I, and I'm I killing it. I couldn't even imagine. I'm making myself. No, like, I'm selling bags. Would, like, that would I'm be doing, it. Like, when, when we go out now, which is far and few in between, I it need needs to be a day, to recover, it needs to be a day no, party. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I need to be at home by like 11 o'clock. Yeah, it hits yeah. me hard. You don't want to yeah, go out till morning night. Let me go. Like three days, I think it takes me. No, by 10 o'clock, shut up. guys, I'm going to I'm going to nip off, guys. I'm going to call it a night. Yeah. No, because I know my capacity. No, I know, I like, like <laughs> the, the alcohol, it hits me like, I don't even know where it hits me yeah, like. it's too I'm, much. It's, it's a lot. It's too much. But you know, I do have my times, my birthday's coming up, maybe. Mm, let, yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll let me air down, yeah. no, I'm joking. But, 
No, yeah. it's too much, honestly. Like, I just, I can't with the, the going out and all of that as well. Like, juggling that side of a social life, mm. for me, it's just not, my it's brother. hard, but it's so funny because I feel like I enjoy dressing up. I feel like I, I do. Enjoy. Yeah, when, but I, when I'm out good. with my friends, like, we when, do. We give have you a guys good an time. example. We went out. Me, well, you went. You didn't. Come Was I there? there? What's this event? No, you actually didn't come. You had a, you had other arrangements. So all when? of us like twenty. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, I you had your. And exam. do you know what? It just oh. made me like. Yes. I was ginger. She was like, you stupid cows. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm actually glad you guys had a it good time. No one. It was, it These was, two I, were like dollies. I liked they were like, we had a bar. <laughs> Who was the Cinderella? Obviously, not that they were evil, but they <laughs> were like the two twins. Be my be my Be to me off. Be to me off. Okay, let me just. No, no, no. What were you saying? You guys were like the two. Um, you know. <laughs> Oh, hey. hey. What's the bells on the ball? Just hey. you know what? We don't get out much, so we're no, I'll right. give it to you guys. You gotta yeah. got make the most of it. Do you know what? I'll give it to twelve. I like twelve. I think twelve yeah. is that was my first time I've ever gone. gone. I've never been to one of them. Yeah, Every time I've been, I've had a ball. To be fair, like yeah. it's it's yeah. a good little vibe. Period. That, that was my first time, and was that your first know, time? Yeah, it was my first time. And I'll be going again. <laughs> like, I didn't know that. It was a good time. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was my first time. I feel like it's, we're actually in a lucky space now where I think a lot of, um, there are a lot of black events mm. like that are- Well curated. Yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? Mm. Like it doesn't, it doesn't have to be, I don't know. I feel like at a point it was just like, okay, block party. Like, yeah, yeah. Do you know oh, what God, I mean? Yeah, that right. was like, a long time ago though. Just what was that coming? Yeah, yeah. Not, that was never, that was never my time. I'm like, <laughs> what? Bye, Abby. <laughs> okay, what? Abby. What? Actually, <laughs> let me get this, check, get this check away from me. <laughs> what did she say? Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? She said 791. Oh, 791. Yeah, you guys love it. You guys just love it. Do you know what? You was there. The yeah, like, no, no, none of this is good enough. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, yeah there's a lot of good events they that are, we can go are. to. So it's hard to juggle like life and also juggle because you need to let your hair down. You do yeah. have to. Let you your do. Hair. do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you do. But then sometimes it's like I feel like we have our seasons where. We, I suppose that in summer we're always like, oh, like we gotta do this, we gotta do that, are and then we? are we? No, it never well, happens. Like that. Dry up, everybody's dry up. Anyway. No, I'm not gonna like. I've had a quite a good few summers actually. No. Where, That's where good. I've, I, this summer was all right. This summer we didn't really nothing, do much. Nothing to be was fair. there. I was, was deep happening. in my master's bag, so yeah. I did not have yeah. time to, to be, be going fair, out. What was, was I doing? And I was well. grateful that you guys didn't do anything. Nothing to miss. Yeah. No. Yeah, I was uh, at home. I feel like we just mainly go out as at birthdays, but I do yeah, think that's yeah. something that we need to work on as a group. But then at the same time, I, I do respect it. That like some people, they, it's just not their priority. Yeah. And I'm not going to add that to anyone's plate because I can't be juggling another damn thing. Yeah. Yeah. Worrying about having to go out. Like uh, on occasion, it's nice. And, yeah. You know, in the future, hopefully when everyone has more free time and more money, yeah. we can, can say that. Yeah. But that's now the I want to do like, experiences. Everyone, this is the thing. Like, what? I want to do like go on holidays. Yeah, go on holidays. I'm not talking about yeah. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. I actually no, do no, want to go to the south of France. Do you know what's actually? You know what's actually so funny? Like I've actually been on some good holidays with you guys, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't been on maybe like ten years ago. No, you've been with Lola. Lost. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. No, because you don't understand. You wanted to be. That was a time was had. Okay, that's good. Sorry, we had. Let's not rubbing in, girls. We had a time. Like it was a time. Anyway, so. whatevs. <laughs> um, we have to hopefully, maybe for our 30th, we'll all make it. We have to just do a big- You're 30 this year, aren't you? No, I'm not this year. You should be <laughs> Next year, but this year- Next month. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I can't believe it. I, I know we spoke about this before, but this is the thing that feels mad. Don't you think like 21, 22, 29? Yeah, it just, it just jumped. jumped. Yeah, like, exactly. I just feel like time is just it's like, crazy, I don't know if it's cause we're working, we're doing more, like yeah. we're not just moping about, but it's like, Time waits for no one. How is yeah. it even September? How is this year nearly done? Like, so much do you know what I mean? It's wild. And this is the thing, even like we were saying, we said about wanting to do like a vision board and set like goals and stuff for the year. Yeah. But it's just that we've only got like three months, four yeah. months left of the year. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. actually mad. Like it really, we need to set goals for, I guess the following year yeah. because <laughs> <laughs> really? What? Really? What are you talking about? The vision board that we were talking about. 2025. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. realistically, what, what we, we've got no, no blink and no, it's basically the last Christmas. Quarter, it, look, it, that's a, a very key quarter, quarter of like, yeah. yeah, I feel like that last push, that In last. In that last push, I've got my Santa hat on and my Christmas pajamas and I'm watching. Oh, bless <laughs> you. I'm watching it. Well, you'll be watching it on here. So <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> I get my Christmas bag, but yeah. 
Anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a, I think it's a, a a difficult one with social life, as we've been saying. But I think one thing as well that I find hard to juggle, or not hard to juggle, but is a factor to juggle, is my relationship. Okay, like mm. in everything. It's hard, yeah. And I feel like this year, one thing that's definitely contributed to my anxiety and like the stuff that's making me feel overwhelmed is trying to prioritize my relationship because okay. we both have now a lot of commitments like separate mm-hmm. commitments work yeah. and you know just different ventures that we're doing as yeah. well as obviously prioritizing our children and whatever yeah um my fiance has two children well mm. mine and a previous child yeah because yeah. that just sounded crazy <laughs> but um yeah just prior- prioritizing all those things mm. and then you just don't always have time for, for you, each gentle. other yes yeah, yeah. yeah, so i have found that i've really been experiencing this year like that not disconnect we're mm. still connected yeah, yeah but yeah. i feel like it's been hard to make time mm. for each those, other yeah those really intimate moments and mm. you kind of find yourself like missing it yeah and saying oh we'll do this or we'll do this this time and, we'll do, and it just it. never comes around it's but easy don't you to find kind of become like passing passing ships like, yeah especially when you live together yeah, as well yeah, yeah, like you yeah, just yeah, go yeah. through the same but then i was gonna say i found like because it's funny, I kind of said the same thing to my partner the other day. Because we've like, as I come in, he might be doing stuff or whatever, yeah. whatever. You know how it goes. But I feel like in relationships, and I guess somewhat anything really, friendships or whatever, is seasonal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this could be the season where you're building, you're getting your establishments, whatever you're yeah. doing, your ducks in a row. Yeah. And then it might be like in a couple of months or whatever, you guys can sit back and go on a little holiday yeah. or do, do you get what I mean? But it is hard. I do feel like, but it's also key to still find that time. And you do have yeah, to, you have to yeah, make it. You've got to make yeah, it a priority. Yeah, 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 I do. think even, if, so even if you're in a season where you are more busy or there's other things that are like take priority. Yeah, I guess you find the time. To, yeah, because obviously- Put on make, your cute little- we make underwear. <laughs> shake it, shake it. Yeah, honestly. Thank Don't you. tell Jesus. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Jesus will be telling. Like, no, I'm joking. But even that, no, even that. Finding time. Do you know what? It's actually not funny. But I was saying no. Oh. I was gonna say I was at church not too long ago. I haven't been in ages, and I do feel very convicted. But honestly, so much has been going on. But. I was at church. Guilty. And no. Yeah, you went to finally have to drink a gin and tonic. But what I was gonna say is the last time I was at church, I remember the sermon was Where's God in your priority list? Mm. And I was actually like, Look at you lot. We were talking about juggling. Not one of you has I mentioned know, the Lord. I know, I know. I know. Anyway, I think that's quite. Like, that's we a, saved the best for last. Yes, like the yeah, grand finale. He's weaved mm. into everything. Yeah, yeah. Amen, amen. but amen. I was like, and then they said, Is he number one? So a lot of people were number two. Number three, and it's like, he Everything. probably ain't even your top 10. Yeah. Some people can say yes, but I can say hands up. I prioritize a lot more, but then I expect so much from, again, this is down to my faith or whatever, but like, do you know what I mean? Mm. And it's like, that's also something like picking up the Bible sometimes in the morning. We do actually do sometimes have our mm. calls. We spoke about it, like yeah. we have our little I'm prayer. I'm glad that we've got them back yeah. on track actually. Yeah. So yeah. Even though I missed them this week, sorry guys. <laughs> she was sleeping, yeah. but. Yeah, I must have sounded the alarm. Get there. I there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good, cause it's just, it's starting your day off and oh putting, yeah, and also yeah. making it a priority, like rather than rolling over, going on Instagram, like, I'm really trying to cut that out. Yeah, she Naturally. says while she looks at her phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what time did you want your appointment? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm Instagram gets on my nerves. Like, I just need sometimes time away from yeah. it. <laughs> no, honestly, <laughs> no, but yeah, prioritizing that is also something that I actually really do struggle with, and I feel like Ooh. it should, like, certain things should be a priority, in it? Yeah, and it's like yeah, some, yeah, it's yeah. so easy to make excuses for things do you know what though i think it's like when you have if the intention is there it's because for myself i don't think that's been something i've ever prioritized probably Mm. until quite recently Mm. and that's been quite uh been very different i've I've, actually i've tried to prioritize it previously but in different ways Mm. i think i've always like thought okay it has to be in church Mm. when in actual fact no like i think the journey that i've been on as of recent has been quite personal Mm. and it's been I've found it, it's it's been even it either, either it's been even easier mm, to yeah. just for it, it's just become part of my routine. Yeah, you know? it's more comfortable. Yeah, and maybe be. that's mm. yeah. I think so. Maybe and maybe it's because I've like had what's it called? The Bible that I'm reading is like 
it's guiding me a bit. Like it's not. I'm not just reading the Bible blindly, which I think mm. is something I've tried to do in the past. You just open what the Bible. What Bible is like, it that you're reading? It's the woman's. Do, 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 do. I will have to find it on. Oh. Maybe I'll put a link below. Yeah, you know? I mean, <laughs> help us out, the girls yeah, that no, need no. to read the Bible. It's the woman's. It's, it's, I don't. It's the woman's Bible. Oh, okay. Or something. I think is it a pink? It's yeah, pink. pink. I think yeah. I've yeah. seen it. Thick pink. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. So it has different references. Yeah, yeah. Like for me personally, just even. The way that it breaks things down and the explanations, yeah. it's 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 been a godsend. Literally. Yeah. See, I can yeah. understand that because I've always preferred Bible study and prayer meeting to church yeah. services. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And really? like praise and worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. always enjoy like that Into fellowship. Like yeah, yeah, and like being yeah. able to ask questions. Yeah, and discuss with a group yeah. mm-hmm. about what we read and then going away and and actually breaking down yeah. things in the Bible, yeah, making yeah, it relatable yeah. to yeah. your situation. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas I always found church services I mean, in the moment, you when the when the sermon comes, you can always say, "Oh, I needed to hear that sermon." You always find a yeah, reason why yeah, you need yeah, to hear yeah, the yeah, sermon, yeah, 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 yeah. and obviously, praise and worship is a vibe. Yeah. Like when you're at the right church, <laughs> praise and worship. You're just like, like <laughs> you're in the vibe. It's, 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 it's a time, child. Yeah. So, um, like, I love the element of it. Don't get me wrong, but I've always struggled with church because I've never found a church that I feel like really comfortable right, in. Yeah, but yeah. I've always enjoyed like the Bible studies, the prayer, the prayer meetings, like the little groups where you have that yeah, I community yeah. and like, that understand. ability to do So I, I understand I, yeah, I th- how I think you feel. I've, it, and I think that's probably what prompted me to like, okay, okay, you need to be intentional about yourself. Doing your own study. Yeah, because mm-hmm. also it's sometimes it's like, you don't even feel like you can, obviously I'll hold my head out anyway, but you don't feel like you can hold your head high or be, I don't know, like, conf- I want to feel confident in the word. Yes. Like, that's not to say I'm not confident in You want to know your I scripture. Wanna, yeah, yeah, and I want to know, like, that I it, I made it a priority and that's why I have that clarity there. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's it, it's funny that, you know, mm. you mentioned that. Yeah. And there was something I saw, actually, I'll share it with you guys. It was something I saw about, I don't know if this is actually relevant, maybe I won't say it, but no, it was, say, say, say. talk about basically, like, Someone said, did you guys see that thing? And it said, oh, like, I went to AI and I said to AI, what would you do? What would the devil, what would the devil say to a girl who had so much potential to break her down? And a lot of it was, did you see it? And the the chain of it was so like, whoa, like it really took me, I'll share it with you guys because it was so relatable about like just self-belief and all the things Mm. that God wants us to have, but the world can really strip from you. I said it, it was proper good because I thought, whoa, like this really hit home for me mm. because it takes away your confidence. Your, yeah. You feel like, yeah. even the feeling of burnout, not to say that that's something that isn't real, mm. but sometimes, again, you could... God will carry you through. And yeah. that's what yeah. I was... So it's only God. It's not, I, sometimes it's I don't feel like that. I'm in my own body day yeah. to day. I said to God, I don't even feel like it's me. I feel like it's just God and I'm just going yeah. with it because yeah. sometimes mm-hmm. I'm thinking, girl, yeah. you, mm-hmm. you need to damn slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's been moments where... God has slowed me. Yeah. You know, like yeah. certain things will happen where you can't do something or and you're vexed and, and you realise like, oh my gosh, God has actually yeah, said, yeah, let me just call yeah, 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 before yeah, I actually yeah. do too much. Yeah. So I think in when you're saying like, God will put it like, we're laughing, but it's really real. Like yeah. Yeah. he's 100%. taking us through the journey 100%. every day. So I think my, the, the thought always comes back to that because it's like without, I've, as much as I've never felt like I've been like, embedded like in the church or embedded in Christianity I don't I don't feel like I've quite got mm. there mm. but I've always if if I didn't have faith I wouldn't be here like mm. I, th- there's no way I wouldn't be here because there's so many times where it's like it's only faith it's only faith yeah. like and you have to tell yourself that and obviously it manifests in different ways so it manifests in like you might think it's just oh yeah it's just your personality no babe like the faith is a real thing and faith will carry you through and that's one thing I think for me this this period of juggling has been quite interesting because it's learning certain things about myself that like you said I'm not actually governing by my own strength mm. I'm not moving it's not no, Lord, day moving. You're, it you're, is me it's my strong, physical yeah. being but it's my spirit man that's going it's mm. God that's mm. taking me through because I'm looking at the things I'm juggling starting a new project a new venture managing jobs being a mum and still being a parent and put that, you know present for myself and I'm thinking how are you doing that? And I realised that, no, it's not... And even day starting those God. things sometimes, like, even not to take your story, but, like, I know that you were starting things and you think, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but you do it. And you and do we, it. And we all have those things, that like, we start things, we do things, and it's it's almost like it blind faith, it, but yeah. it's, God makes yeah. a way. Yeah. And he always makes a way. And that's why it's so important for us, and I think when you got in those causes, just, like, 
let's chop it up let's pray mm-hmm. let's talk to god because that's all we've got i can't give you hope that i haven't found from the bible mm-hmm. i can't give you encouragement that's not in the bible for i don't have no confidence but in god yeah mm. it's not down to me because if it was down to me i would have crumbled from when i started on the first day of the new venture mm. but you know what at the end of the day, we go. He's, he's given you this. it. Yes. He's given you that venture. Yeah. And he's going to get you through just, it. And he already is. He already mm-hmm. is doing it. He's mm-hmm. doing his big ones. So it's just like, yeah, like, we're juggling life. But I suppose it's just looking back and, first of all, enjoying the journey. Definitely enjoy the journey. And just don't stop. Hustlers don't stop. Hustlers don't stop. Hustlers they don't stop. Go in. They oh, keep God. Going. Sometimes like. I just want to stop. I want to cry sometimes. <laughs> I want to be, a, I wanna be babied. Yeah. Like, I swear to God, I actually want to have my moment. Like, guys. <laughs> do you think it will happen? I don't, I don't, I don't, I think I don't think it's going to happen. We've, come, we've gone too far now. Everyone knows that we have strength. No, <laughs> yeah. I, swear I feel like that's everyone has their season to be babied, innit? Like, you know. I don't know when my season's going to come. Come, I'm still a, still a, no, you know. <laughs> She wants her foot rubbed. Literally, if you want to do the just please, okay. me too. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Like that, you know? One day soon. I said, so when, when Abby says she's going to cast again, yeah, all right, cool, save it. Bye, Abby. No, no, I was like, yo, well, that was my Let's wrap it up there. Let's wrap it up. I was like, yeah, yeah, because I was thinking, those are the kind of things that give me ammunition. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool, Abby, you want to leave? I'm going to show you why you don't leave. I'm going to show you some superstar stuff. But, no, you know, I'm glad he did leave and I'm glad that you reined it back in. Turned it around. Um, yeah. I said, just just do. No, yeah, no not work. where. No <laughs> where. <laughs> well, guys, you know what? That, <laughs> that, was, your, that was your last that, yeah, call. You shot one and only shot. You're one hour done. Stop. No, you're done. No, I mean, you can't eat... Don't guys, even. Pim, I don't want to hear Pim. I don't want to. I don't want to hear. Do you know what though? The thing is, as friends, we do have to also. No, it's not even. I'm we listen, also have to, to lean on, on each other yeah, yeah, when yeah. we want to. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. have a little vent, have a little moan. That's and yeah. I think sometimes that's what some people don't feel comfortable doing in it. Like mm. not to say that that's the situation, but I feel like some people don't feel comfortable. Some people don't have a network or people behind them that they can actually. Be vulnerable with yeah. and say like I do, yeah, yeah but do. you know with me, yeah, like it's no time. <laughs> if I go to my mom, my mom, she's just gonna be looking at me like, so what do you want me to like? You go on, you need to go, on, just get it together and go and oh, you can sit down and you can have average life. Do you want average life? Yeah, oh, go because it's the idea. Yeah. It's, about, it's, nah, like, yeah, it's true. It. And even it's my man, like same thing. Life. Like I can go to my mom, like, oh, I'll just go. He'd be like, well, you know, <laughs> pat on the back, right? So are you good? Yeah, what, what time have you got? You know, what time have you got work? Yeah, yeah. What's next? What's for dinner? What's for dinner? What's good? You know what I mean? So it's like no. okay well let me go <laughs> okay but you know I want to see rather than us giving a word of advice maybe for the ending of the episode mm. why don't we do or say something that we're going to try to adopt in our like moving forward to alleviate us of the pressures of life or juggling how much we're juggling I feel like I mean, you really can start because I feel yeah. like you oh, okay <laughs> um, do you know what I would say perspective mm. Ooh, that's a good one okay, the reason why I say that is sometimes when you're in the midst of feeling overwhelmed or whatever it's just flipping it like in how you how you look at the situations mm. how you and then maybe that can change the way that you feel mm. so say for example like I said the mum guilt it's about looking at it and seeing do you know I'm going hard for my daughter yeah. Yeah. she's going to thank me for this when she's when she can talk to yeah. you like, mum yeah. I saw you going yeah. to, to the house do you know what yeah. I mean so just flipping the narrative instead of and just yeah. controlling your mind a little bit more like not letting your mind control you. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I guess that has him in perspective. That would be my word. I'm gonna quit my job. <laughs> <laughs> How did we get there? How did we get there? Um, what will I adopt? I think, okay. For me personally, this is something to help with juggling, man. Right? Yeah. Okay, well, this is something that I've already kind of adopted, I mm-hmm. guess. Um, and I think that is the like just being quite structured with mm. like my like with my days like with organized. my days my week my month okay, yeah, yeah like yeah. just having visibility um because for me like i've said this before i think but if it's not in my diary it doesn't it's exist real. it's mm-hmm. not real like it doesn't exist mm-hmm. and you can't just speak about it it's not yeah. enough like yeah i need to write it down and i've got i've kind of taken that a step further recently and been like it needs to be like by the hour. Like I need to mm. plan. Like okay, I know. Yeah. I go. In, I get into the office at this time, and then for for this hour, I'm doing this, and then the next hour, I'm for, because otherwise you can't comprehend oh, yeah. it. The vis- I just don't. I lose visibility. Yeah. What do you use for like your planning? Do you just use normal calendar? Like what so would you advise? I use my I use my calendar. Yeah. I, so even like on my phone, and then even my work phone. So I've got 
like my calendar synced on my phone so my in- well, work emails don't come in on my phone good i can see my calendar like it's blocked out on okay. there and then all of my calendars like whether it's my so it's like my gmail whatever yeah um i've and like down to mars all of those calendars i have them set and then everything it just I, if we have a conversation we're gonna link on saturday okay yeah cool. put it in straight put it away. straight away yeah. in there like if i know that okay i need to call the doctors that did it i need to set a reminder and mm-hmm. i need to put it in my calendar yeah mm-hmm. that's a good because one. when i'm thinking can i do that and i look up okay yeah cool i can do that your brain can see that yeah you can't or you can and that yeah. just works for me yeah. and also as like yeah just building a better relationship with god yeah and, that one. you know i think that that is like Top of it. yeah mm. I think being honest with my expectations. Okay. I think for years growing up from an African household and with two parents in the house as well, I think I'm so used to just them, everyone's going hard. Mm. Like, mum is working, dad's working. That's all I've seen growing up. And I think I adopted that mentality Mm. from the age of. One, <laughs> and I think it's carried me through my years now. And I'm like, sometimes I realize that I don't actually take a break. I don't take a moment to just, like, just be a bit like, just chill and be honest. Like, you know, I actually can't do that. But you know, yeah. try me again in a month's time. Or sorry, I couldn't help you on this occasion. Why didn't we do this another time? Whatever. And I feel like I just need to just learn to manage my expectations and be honest with myself. And I think with having your hands in so many pots sometimes, especially when it's not only just your own venture, but other people, whether it's a business venture like Down to Mars yeah. or the charity, um, adventures, I think I've realized that sometimes you want to be present in every situation. And the truth of the matter is you can't be present mm. in every situation because it leads to burnout or at least you disappoint in people or letting people down. And that's not something that I don't like doing. So I think moving forward is just being a lot more realistic in regards to what I can deliver or what, what I can, my capacity. Um, and learning to say no as well, Absolutely. I think, yeah. actually. Say no. And I want to do more spa days, so <laughs> if you want to sponsor, <laughs> the bike, or DM me. <laughs> DM, DM us, sponsor us, okay? <laughs> spa, we would, I would love a spa day. Yeah. Everything, yeah. massage, you know. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Whatever. I don't have yeah. much to add. I feel like you guys have said good ones. I feel like the only thing I could really say is maybe like, be more vulnerable, mm. learn to maybe prioritize mental mm. health. We spoke a lot about mm. like what we would pri- like juggle. Yeah. I don't think we spoke a lot about like, well, we did speak about mental health, but maybe just actually assigning time to- Check in on yourself. Yeah, check in on yourself, check in on people around you. Mm. I That's do have important. therapy, but it is, it's, it's not really like, I don't know. I don't know if it's enough. Mm. Yeah. Necessarily yeah. like- maybe Is just, anything ever enough? Mm. Yeah. I don't like, know if I have a hobby, you know? Really? Yeah, yeah like that's I'm just, interesting. I thought about it like DJing was my hobby, and then it was just like, oh, I want to get booked all the time, and then it's yeah, just like yeah, 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 it, yeah. it became less fun. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just like, maybe you need to start like just DJing again, like for fun. For fun. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like I just lost all that. Like when it when it became like oh, it, a you, working thing, it takes yeah, the fun out of and it. And it's like I never wanted it to be my job. It yeah. was always to be. But that's always what happens. I know. Though, it was always. Like, it just want, like, I just when you to really be enjoy something, it, this is like okay. Well, how can I monetize? This? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, rather than enjoying it. Yeah, maybe maybe I think we should Pilates. find a hobby. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think Pilates is my hobby. Is that, that your hobby? You're enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. You're enjoying yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So we should do a group Pilates. Yeah, no boo. Yeah, no boo. Pilates and sushi. Yeah. No seriously. Oh, that's yeah. good though. I feel like that we've touched on some good little gems this yeah. time. Mm-hmm. And glad you're still with us, Tali. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys. <laughs> we didn't no, even introduce ourselves. I know. It's fine. I think they know us by now, anyway. Yeah. 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 You so. should do. If <laughs> you're new here, I'm Abby. <laughs> I'm, hi. I'm Lola Day. I'm Ness. What accent was that? Are we actually, I'm Bex. We're saying this at the end. Duh. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. And if, if there's anything you want us to touch on that we haven't already touched on. You might think about it. <laughs> yeah, maybe, just maybe. Just maybe. Anyway, bye. Okay, move.